hey guys welcome back to my channel i know this video is coming after a very long time but today i bring you an amazing text effect that we can create in adobe illustrator this is super easy and it helps to give a lot of depth to your design so without any further delay let's begin okay so the first thing that i'm going to do here is type my text i'm using the word energy and i'm going to make it really really huge yeah so after making it huge i'm going to go and select a font for this i'm going to go for a script font over here because they have an amazing flow to them and this text effect looks very good if it's a script font i'm not saying you cannot use it with other fonts you can use it with whichever font you like but i'm going for a script font here and i'm going to style it a bit and then we are going to go ahead and see how to apply our text effect. So once I am fine with the text, the first thing I do is I'm going to copy it and I'm going to forget about it. Then by pressing Alt, I'm going to drag this text above. So it creates a copy, but the copy should be slightly above or below the original text, as you can see on the screen. Then we select both of these. We go to Object, Blend and Blend Options. And you see on the screen, that's the options you want. Specified steps and at least 100 to 200 or 300, not less than that. Once that's done, Keeping both of them selected, I again go to blend and make. And you can see it has combined both of these. Now, few steps back, if you remember, we had copied the text. So we are going to go and do paste in place. After doing paste in place, we are going to change the color of the top one that we just pasted. So I'm going to go for a color from my color palette and I don't like the position. So I'm moving it slightly above to change the isometric direction of the text. Yes, this is much better. Now we make sure that we select the shadow. That's the black text and we go and apply a stroke to it. I want to give it a depth again. So I'm going to apply an, a stroke and at least of depth uh, stroke width of 30, not less than that. So once I apply, you can see how the design changes here. Okay, so you see the design looks so cool now. The last thing left is to add the shadowy effect to the text. But before that, I'm going to add a background color to this to make it more appealing. And then we go ahead and take our pencil tool to draw the shadowy effects. Now, this is a bit of a complicated step. If you're not so good with pencil tool, it takes a bit of a practice, but try it anyway. So add your stroke, give it the stroke depth and just choose the uh, specification that I'm choosing for the stroke. Don't keep it uniform. This gives a very cool effect to the text and keep doing this for all the alphabets in your design until your design turns out like mine. This is the final design and I'm in so love with this. So try this out and let me know how it turns out for you all. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll surely answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again with another video. Keep watching. Bye.